doing all people I just wanted to uh, show you guys a little something a little something something 2014 Peterbilt 386 ISX 15 Cummins 2350 485 horsepower 1850 torque let me show you what I'm talking about here I just broke a million mile mark in this truck I've had to do, you know, I've had to make regular repairs on it besides when that lady backed into me. You know, I've had to get some, I had to get some stuff fixed on that, but uh, the motor's still good. It doesn't doesn't burn oil. I haven't put any oil in it since the last oil change, and I've got over 12,000 miles since the last oil change. I usually get mine changed around, I try to get it changed around 15 to 16,000, so I haven't put any oil in it since the last oil change. It doesn't leak oil. Strong enough, thought I would just share that bit of information. Now, when the truck starts using oil, that's when you need to be concerned. If you have oil leak, get it fixed. But if it's burning oil, which it is not, then you need to be concerned about that too. Pretty proud, you know, treat your equipment right. Now, I'm not the easiest person on equipment. I like to get down the road, you know, I do all meat most of the time, so, and heavy loads, so. You know, I put my foot into it to keep up speed to get to the appointments, but you know, there's a trick to it. You know, let up on it when you can, let the motor breathe. And, uh, when you're going uphill, you get near the top, there's, there's a certain point on an incline when you're not going to gain any more speed, no matter if you have, you know, almost 40 pounds manifold pressure compared to 20 something. You're not going to gain any more speed. You're, your truck's not going to do it. So why not let up on the let up on the throttle, let it breathe a little bit. That's what basically I've done, you know. Besides keeping the oil changed on it and everything else, and repairing what needed to be repaired. Now there's a few things that I need to do. But in regards to the engine, the engine so far is running like a top knock on wood. So I just thought I would share that. I'm pretty proud of it. This is the next load after Thanksgiving, and we are headed to Dallas. Come on, uh, going to Dallas, got to drop in Dallas. Then uh, I don't think I'm going to get another backhaul. I think I need to come back and get another meat load. I'll just dead head back. I make enough on these meat hauls where it really doesn't affect me whether I, you know, get a cheaper backhaul or just uh, dead head back and get the meat load the next day. You know.
me doing fun fun I did I just didn't accept it you know uh, I mean I, I've never been to these places that I know of I may have but I don't know but I did look at the weather for the next five days up till the 8th because I figured by the 8th I'll be heading out of Chicago so I did look at the weather and basically not doing anything. It's just, you know, a little chilly. So, if it stays true to that, then I should be alright. Because I didn't want to go up there and get, in, get into any snow. And I hope I don't on the way. I haven't checked the weather in between here in Chicago. Here in Chicago. But I am hoping that... I mean, I'll check it when I get home. Let's see what the deal is. It might slow me down, but... I hope there's not any snow that I have to go through. Of course, you never know about that. The last snowstorm that I remember that went through, you know, was probably four or five days ago when it went to the east, you know, towards the east, towards the east coast. So hopefully nobody's got a big, I know Denver gets it all the time, but I'm not, I don't have to go back to the, back to the west of Denver. I have to go to, I have to go into Oklahoma and and uh, up that way, or I can go to Kansas, up to uh, Kansas City, which is, um, which is what I might do, but it depends on what that weather in Kansas is doing, because Kansas is crazy, man, it, it gets really cold there, and it, and it snows a lot, and they have a snowstorm, they have a snowstorm, but they have thunderstorms, they have thunderstorms, so we'll just have to wait and see. I get to take a 34. I messaged them and I said, well, I only have 14 hours left, you know, on the recap I, I have coming back. You know, I have six or seven hours one day and five the next day after that. So not a lot of time coming back on recap. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to. I am not running on recap all the way to Chicago. Heck no. So I told them, you know, I just, I need to get a reset. So they said, okay. That would work. So that's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. That's the plan stand for now. And uh, <coughs> I don't know who the president is. Do you? It looks like we have construction up here, but it looks like it's coming to a halt. Construction or an accident? Probably construction. No, but uh, I don't know who the president is, you know. Trump said he won and Biden said he won, so I have no idea. Um, all I know, all I know is what do you guys think about that vaccine they're issuing now? I mean, it's supposed to be out in a couple of weeks. Today is December the 3rd and it's supposed to be out by the 14th or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that has me uh, concerned about the vaccine because I've heard a lot of people getting sick from the lately, so I'm kind of concerned about taking that damn vaccine. I don't think I want to, especially when uh, world leaders claim it's a salvation of humanity. <laughs> you know, why, why would it be the salvation of humanity when 99.8% of the people that get So why would why would we have to take that vaccine? Oops, I said the V word. I'll just keep it a V. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll work that out and keep it a V. Why would we have to take the V if if 99.88 percent of the people that get it live? And uh, you know, it should it should be a choice. If you want to take it, take it. If you don't if you don't want to take it, it shouldn't affect your job. It shouldn't affect you know. Whether you, you can go somewhere or not, it shouldn't affect that. Now, if they want to make everybody wear a mask, then, you know, a mask, a mask isn't bad. A mask is, I just don't want anything in my body that's going to mess with me, you know. There's no telling what's in that. I heard horror stories of people getting uh, these, these uh, 
bees lately, or in the last 10 years, you know, when people get really sick. But if they say that you cannot buy or sell or trade without getting it, then it's basically like the mark. It's kind of like the mark of the beast, ain't it? That's what it sounds like. And when they have world le leaders saying that it's uh, like Boris Johnson of, of England saying that it's the salvation of humanity, this uh, V is. <laughs> uh, uh, let me tell you, that V is not the salvation. It's not my salvation. It may be salvation for some of those guys, but uh, the only salvation that, that I know of, that I rely on, is Jesus Christ. He is my rock. He is my salvation. And there's, and uh, just by them saying that, you know, I mean, if you're a Christian, then you're gonna, you're gonna have to really think about the circumstances of taking that, because uh, be kind of like you're denying, denying Christ as your salvation if you agree to take that. Agree to take the V. Come on now, y'all. Y'all probably have some words on it. And, uh, well, let's try to keep it a V, you know, so we don't get uh, we don't get the uh, V I D E O taken down. See, there's other words that start with V too, so they really can't say anything about it because any word that starts with a V, I mean, you may be talking about that instead of what they think you're talking about. But I delivered I, I delivered at a Kroger there in Dallas. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. Before, but they have a big, uh, a big staging, a pretty big staging area. You can probably fit 30 to 40 trucks in their staging area. So I got there last night and uh, got unloaded this morning. But I didn't have time because I had to pick up this load going to the Walmart DC. I didn't have time to. Uh, you know, go to the store or anything, so, I mean, it was, I finally got loaded by three, I think it was around three o'clock, about three o'clock, and I hadn't had a coffee yet, so, I just stopped at the QT and got a little bit of fuel over here on I-20, and I finally, I finally was able to get me some coffee, you know, that was, that was, it wasn't even 15 minutes ago and it's already 5.06 so I didn't even have my coffee until 4.45 so I've been dragging ass. Been dragging ass, you know, all day. And the damn sun's fixing to go down. Excuse my language, but uh, me with no coffee all day is not good. I tend to get a little... Uh, Get a little, uh, I don't know what's a good word for pushy. I don't push, I don't push people around, you know, but uh, I do tend to get a little aggravated if I don't have some caffeine, coffee, you know, warm coffee, hot coffee. I like the hot, I like the hot coffee. I used to drink it black and white, but, but now I don't know. I've drank, I've drank it black and white for a long time. Last year, man, I, was, I, was, I added sweet and dirty cream to it, half and half. You know, I like it. I like doing that. I like it. It tastes better, I think. Of course, black and white tastes good, too. This, this, this tastes a little better where you can enjoy it. You enjoy it a little bit more with cream and sweet cream, right? At least I do. We have an empty trailer there that I can latch on to. If we don't, I don't really care because we're going home anyway. So we'll uh, get that done and we'll talk to you guys later. Um, enjoy the ride for a little bit.
they might consider something more walking to get stuff, you know. Uh, I know we got a big beat plant up there in the chocolate. Or, yeah, we got a chocolate plant. Pretty close by. Well, no, just different types of plants, you know. 